In the last tutorial, we pasted in the minimal amount of code for an OpenGL project that specifically uses FreeGLUT. In this tutorial, we're going to walk you through that code. Now if you go to the top of the code, you'll notice that we included two header files, glue.h and freeglut.h. These are essentially going to allow us to make OpenGL and GLUT calls. Immediately below that, you can see that we included IOStream and are using the standard namespace. Now what I want to do is drop down here to main because main is the entry point of the program. Now if you look on the inside of main, you can see that the first five or six function calls are GLUT calls. Now, what is GLUT? It's the windowing API that we're going to use as opposed to something like the Microsoft Window API, which can be difficult to work with. GLUT also makes your code a little bit more portable across platforms. Now, looking at these first six function calls, you can see that we call GLUT init and pass it argc and argv. You don't necessarily have to understand the details of how it initializes, but you do have to know that it's necessary to call it before calling other GLUT functions. Immediately after that, we call GLUT init display mode, and the parameters that we pass to this function are going to change as we progress through the semester. In this case, we pass GLUT double, which allows for double buffering, GLUT RGBA, which describes the color space, and GLUT depth, which creates a depth buffer. This call essentially tells GLUT how much video memory to open up for our program. The next two calls are GLUT init window size and GLUT create window. And in this case, these two function calls are going to create a window that's 800 pixels high by 600 pixels wide with the title Hello GL. Now the next two functions are really important. GLUT reshape func and GLUT display func take in as a parameter the names of other functions that we define. In this case, what's going to happen is that when the user resizes the window, GLUT is going to call the change viewport function that we created that you can see right up here. Now realize that it doesn't have to be called change viewport, we can call it anything we like. The nice thing about this is that when the function is called, GLUT passes the new dimensions of the window to it. Then on the inside of this function, we call GL viewport and pass it that information. We'll talk about GL viewport a bit later on, but realize that anytime the window is resized, the end result is that GL viewport is called. Similar to that is the call to GLUT display func. Here we pass it the render function that we created right here. Again, it doesn't have to be called render, it's just a good function name. Because we set up the code this way, the end result is that glut is going to call the render method each time the screen needs to be redrawn. Now inside the render function, all we do is clear the screen and then flip our buffers. And again, we'll talk about these concepts a little bit later on. Now immediately below glut display func is a call to glue init. Now there's a lot of confusion about this function, but what it does is go to the driver of your graphics card, ask it which OpenGL functions are available and where it can find them. The inner workings of it are pretty nasty, so it's probably best just to leave it alone for now, but understand that without this call, you wouldn't have the ability to call any OpenGL functions. Also, you need to remember to call this function after you've made the window. Finally, we have this last function call. Notice that on the inside of main, you don't see something like a while loop. So the question is then, how are animations done? What essentially happens is that when glut main loop is called, it runs in the background. Then, as important events occur, it calls the functions within our program. So that's it. You can see it's only 45 lines of code, but each line of code has its purpose. I'd recommend that before moving on, you review this code a couple of times just to make sure you're comfortable with it.